Hello, dear travelers. Today we will take you on a tour of a beautiful Extapa Island. We will show you the best and cheapest way to get there and we'll take you to all four beaches in the island. Please don't forget to hit like button and subscribe. Now sit back and enjoy. Now we're on the way to Ixtapa Island. We just arrived. We're right by the crocodile habitat. We're gonna go get the ticket. It costs 80 pesos per person. And a boat, water boat gonna take us there. Highly recommended to stop by the crocodile place because you can see here a different type of birds and like turtles. And it's amazing. Here you can buy the tickets. It's 80 pesos per ticket. We are loading on the boat. Our boat arrived. Now let's check this island. Looks beautiful. Restaurants right on the water. Beautiful beach. There is a few beaches here. That's the first one. The water here is amazing. Today we are on Tuesday and it's pretty chill here, not too crowded, you don't have so many people, I love it. A water sports if you like any banana boats, any activities, it's here. If you want to have a place to sit down, you can just dine in one of those restaurants and they will let you use the tables there for the remaining of your stay there. All you need is just to buy food and drinks. We are on the way to check a second beach. You will walk up the stairs away from the ocean you can find another beautiful place thank you for snorkeling over there look at this beautiful place we are in heaven and it's called island istapa Look at this. You have another beach right there. All right. So in Ixtapa Island, you have four different beaches. Three of them are swimmable. And one of them is a nudist beach, which I'm going to go try it out <laughs> today. <laughs> the first beach that you see, that's the beach that you're going to meet when you arrive to the island. Kuala, Kuachalalate. Kuachalalate, that's the name of it? <laughs> wow, I love it. So we've been so far on one beach and it was beautiful. The water condition, perfect for swimming. Now we're going to check the second beach. I see more people snorkeling there. Let's see what's the difference. Now we arrive to the second beach. It's a coral beach. What does it say, Jose? It says, do not take the coral. Just take pictures. Don't take the sand. Just leave your footprint. And 
don't feed the animal life and you do any of these things you can go to jail it's serious it's protected guys you gotta just leave footprints and enjoy the views let's leave the footprints i love it whoa look at this beautiful cactus wow i'm not sure if that's the right direction i think we took a wrong turn but the views here are gorgeous let's check it out if you only would see how big is this cactus this is how this cactus looks before they get in giant and huge so they're practically gone everywhere here let's go back and find the right path This is exactly how they start growing, from this size to the huge size we just saw. This is the second beach here. It, this is the one that's a little better for snorkeling. And you can see all the coral reefs there. First beach, nobody snorkel. More swimming over there. Yeah. Here also when you arrive and you have restaurants. No, snorkeling beach, coral beach. Coral beach, snorkeling beach, come. Look, check it out. You can also do snorkeling here. You can bring your own mask. Or you can rent here from one of the restaurants that will give you the snorkeling equipment, 150 pesos. And you can just uh, get the mask, the vest, the breathing thing, so you can uh, go snorkel. There is a place here that offer you massage, and they charge 350 pesos for one hour. It's including full body massage and a facial. So I guess they're gonna also massage your face. Pretty good deal. The coral beach is not a large beach, you can see that's the entrance right there, and it's pretty small, so it's not, uh, not a huge beach. The water here is extremely clear, you can see it's completely gorgeous there for snorkeling. The waves are not too large, and it's just beautiful. There's plenty of black, small blue fish here. They're so cute. You can literally see them without any equipment for snorkeling. <laughs> Just look at the water. Plenty of corals right here on the side. And plenty of rocks. You don't have much sand on this beach. It's mostly rocky, has a lot of rocks. And that's why it makes it perfect for snorkeling. You can see from here the size of this beach. Now we're gonna go check the third beach. And you can just get out to one of the restaurants. The coral beach is right there. Now we're gonna take you to the third beach. Just crossing straight. And here you go. Let's go check it out. This place has full of bunnies. This is the size of the third beach. They all look like same size, not the biggest one, not the largest ones, but you have four. Oh, beautiful one.
Mexican, American, and Canadian flag. That's the second tier. Look how amazing people feed those bunnies here. They're literally giving them uh, letters, a lot of greens. Look how cute. Now we're gonna take you to the nude beach and you need to take some steps here. I guess it's like a hidden thing here. So that's gonna be the fourth beach. I'm not sure we can film there since it's nude people. Ooh, you have a secret pad here, look. Mm. Hey, sweetie. Well, guys, there is a hike here. To get to the nude beach, it's a definitely a hike. And watch your head. <laughs> if you are tall, you probably can hear it with all those branches of trees here. I'm pretty sure not too many people hiking all the way down there. Maybe not many people even know about this beach because the road here is uh, definitely in, uh, a little bit an extreme. All right, that's the nude beach and nobody's here. And obviously if it was people here, I couldn't even record that. The nude beach has a sign that you cannot get in the water. You cannot swim here. I guess there is too many corals here. Maybe it's just not really safe. And also what we see here, it's a turtle nesting area. Right here. Time to say goodbye, friends. It's been a good time spending the time here with you. Uh, we had fun. This island is very beautiful. Yeah, you have a lot of things to do here actually. Like you have uh, water activities, you have plenty of restaurants, snorkeling. It's just a beautiful and peaceful place. Yeah. The water here is very nice for swimming, dipping, and you also have an area that's perfect for snorkeling. So. Yeah, actually the water here is amazing, like people get in and the, the waves are not uh, too rough like in the other beaches we've been, it's just perfect. If you like to just relax and swim in area, that's the one. Thank you so much for watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, it really helps us and see you next. See you guys. Time to say goodbye.